Hello Cancerians and thank you for joining me for the May May of 2017 Taroscope with um, Animal Totem cards. These are both my own decks if you've never watched my videos before. The Rock and Roll Tarot deck and the Animal Totem. Both decks of my own creation. You can find out more information about them both by checking my website in the corner or below. By the way, if you are um, if you are wanted to work with these decks and in the past and, and were discouraged by the high shipping costs, the Game Crafters lowered its shipping costs. And there's more options. You have to go into the pull-down. So look at that pull-down. If you want to get my deck, it's much more affordable on the shipping now. So, so I know a lot of you were discouraged by that. Okay. Well, it sure looks like there's a lot changing for you this month, uh, Cancerians. Big changes are happening. Um, you have the tower in reverse, so I mean the tower is always a, a shake-up. It's a shake-up uh, in your life. I'm hearing that song, shake down, shake down, everybody's break down, break down, shake down, shake, shake down, you're busted I think is, uh, <laughs> isn't there part of it that says uh, shake down, you're busted? Oh my god. No, not breakdown, shakedown, band, breakdown, shakedown lyrics. I don't even know if that's the. You're busted. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. It even says in there, you're busted. Okay, no matter what you think you pull, you'll find it's not enough. No matter. This is Bob Seeger. No matter who you think you know, you won't get through. It's given LA law. Sometimes faster on the draw. No matter where you hide, I'm coming after you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no matter how the race is run, it always ends the same. Another room with another view awaits you downtown. You can shake me for a while, live it up in style. No matter what you do, I'm going to take you down. Shake down, break down, take down. Everybody wants into, I think it's walks into the crowded line, or wants into the crowded line. Break down, take down, you're busted. Let down your guard, honey. Just about any time you think it's all right, take down your busted. This town, this is a town where everyone is reaching for the top. This is a place where second best won't do, will never do. It's okay, it's okay to want to shine, but once you cross that line, no matter where you hide, I'm coming after you. And then it just keeps going on and on about shake down your busted. And at the end it says, honey, just about that time, you're thinking it's all right. Okay, well, I hope nobody's getting busted or doing anything that you would want to have to get busted for. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but, um, actually, this is, a good, this is a good reading. I mean, you have the soulmate card. The central issue is the soulmate card. So that's sweet. And you have money. You have a lot of good things. So, I mean, I don't know why that busted thing came coming through, but... If there's if you're doing something that you you could possibly get busted for, maybe you should not do it in May, right? <laughs> but anyways, two of cups is a central issue. So this is a soulmate card. This is sweet. I mean, it could refer to love. I don't really see a lot of other love cards around it. But the point is, you have many soulmates, and not all of them are going to be um, your lovers. They, they you have soulmates in walk, all walks of life. Um, but there's messages coming. Things are going to be moving quack, quickly. I was going to say quack. Isn't that strange? Fast. I was trying to say quickly and fast, and it came out quack. Things are going to be moving fast, and a soulmate is going to help your situation. It's moving towards this soulmate thing happening. Maybe it's love. For many of you, it's love. You know, if this... Because that's, that's what I'm... This is so positive. With this tower in reverse... This could be something that, with all this, it could be something that just takes you by surprise. Like it just rocks your world. It, it shakes up your whole life, and you weren't, it just, you weren't even thinking that. It just came out of nowhere, right? Um, some of you are making a big shift and a change, so you're moving on anyway. This is a card of moving on. I'm moving on. 
Maybe you're taking an actual journey. Some of you may be relocating or traveling for your work or your career. Going on tour, I've heard. Tours stood out. Um, but um, maybe you're just moving, but you're moving forward. You're moving on. And it's leading you to the Nine of Pentacles, which is prosperity. You know, prosperity, abundance, financial security. So that's definitely um, coming up for you. The Two of Cups, I mean, not, not the Two of Cups, the Two of the High Priestess is the Two. That's the Two of Cups, but this is the Two of uh, High Priestesses, number two in the Major Arcana. This is a card of um, your intuition being really right on, that you, you're sensing. Uh, your intuition regarding um, love and, I mean, finances is right on, you know. You, you're really making some good calls, you're really sensing, and like if any of you do things where that is required, like buying and selling stocks, or when you got to, your timing right is, you know, perfect, and you got to, there's these gut, um, gut feelings that come into play, even if you don't want to call it intuition, gut, you know, you, I know it in my gut, this is the right time, this is the right time to make that move, you know, um, trust your gut, you know, that's, that's a big one for you, trust your gut, I'm going to write that down. Because it's really right on, you know, it's really right on. You know, the, the, the High Priestess has that crescent moon, but I, I do want to mention that there's going to be a full moon in Scorpio, which is harmonious to you. So you're trining, um, you're trining element of water, and that's going to be happening on uh, the 10th. So that could be a day, too. The 10th may be a day when you get some insight or something, especially around that time. If something comes to you, like a, and you've got a feeling, do it. Um... Stars in reverse, which, that's that's a little perplexing, because um, stars, like your spirit guides and angels, are not with you, or not leading you to something. I feel like that's whatever these turbulent waters are that you're leaving behind here. Because down here we've got the other another angelic card, the judgment card. And that says you've completed some big cycle, that um, you've earned this. This is, you know, you've, you're, the suffering is over, and... Um, the reward is upon you. You know, you've really reached some pinnacle point. You've reached this reward. The reward is upon you. You've, you're, it's, it's your time. You know, it's, it's, it's karmic rewards. It's, it's end of a big cycle. So, um, you got to trust your intuition, but know that there's some big changes happening. With Tower, there's big changes, you know. Um, there's going to be a big change, but see, big changes aren't always a bad thing. Tower's just like, oh my god, Tower. Every time you see Tower, everybody, oh, it's such a horrible thing. Tower Reverse, first of all, is less um, less severe, but often it can mean like it's a change that was coming. It was a change that was on the way. It may be a soulmate that's going to show up and just remind you of that, you know. Spirit is communicating with you. I mean, I, I don't, this, this is kind of perplexing to me, the star being in reverse. Because spirit, this is the message from spirit. That's what this card is. For some of you, this is an unborn child, too. This can be the spirit of the unborn child. And it could say that that soul is a soulmate, too. You know, some of you are going to become parent or grandparent or find out somebody's pregnant. And that the message, uh, this that could be like this, this soul of this child entering the world. I'm feeling like if that's the case, that there could be, um, it could be a rough pregnancy or a rough birth, but that it would be, that they're going to be okay. And if some of you, maybe that's what this is, like some of you may have been concerned or worried about maybe somebody's had several rough pregnancies or miscarriages, or the star in reverse is these spirits that did not incarnate, that you were wanting to come through was in the form of a, a new birth and it didn't happen. But I think that this this is telling us this cycle is over and a soulmate is entering your life. Now if you want to find out just more about love, be sure to check out those Vimeo readings. It's two dollars and some change. You get two two readings for each. Uh, pers it's like two different perspectives in each reading. And I use the rose quartz so that's pretty cool. You can find out all that from the website above or the links below in the description. Okay, what is the animal totem card for the uh, for the cancers this month? The hummingbird. Well, that's love too. Maybe love is the thing. Maybe some of you are falling in love. Okay, hummingbird. Love abounding, laughter and joy. Elevated vibrations bring glimpses of magic. The fairy fairy folk surely dance nearby. 
Savor the sweet bouquet, taste the nectar of life. Well, it does seem like there's a lot of happiness and joy around you right now. But the other thing about the hummingbird, they move so fast. They flitter from one thing to another. So I'm feeling like traveling and movement, because this is a card of movement. This is a card of movement. This is a card of movement. The hummingbird is always on the move. So I feel like some of you may be traveling around, um, spreading joy and laughter. Maybe you're going to have to travel for work. Maybe... If you're concerned about uh, some kind of relocation, do, dealing with um, finances and work, it's saying, yes, it's a good thing. Um, but there's good, love is in the air, that's for sure, uh, with, uh, the ca with cancers, okay? And there's big changes coming, too. All right, hey, Cancerians, thank you guys so much for everything you do to support the Rock and Roll Prophetess channel by liking, donating, commenting, all that stuff. If you want to find out how to get a reading from me or any of the wares that I offer, you can do that by checking out my website. Um, remember that you are Love and Beauty Incarnate. Have a great month of May, and I'll speak to you soon.